guten tag, good evening, from wherever you are. My name is Dead Hell, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. And today we're gonna do Minecraft, not RL Crop. Sorry. Mm. Mm. We know you enjoy seeing me rage and die a million times over, but some people cannot grasp the idea of this stuff. Redstone. It is amazing. I love messing around with it. And, you know, it can seem daunting at first. It's a horrible task. It can seem tedious to the average player. But, today, we're going to put that behind us and I'm going to show you these interesting, interesting little contraptions. And not just how to build them and just go, oh, you place a block here, you place that there, you place that there. No. What I want to do is explain how it works and how, how it runs so that you get the idea in your head as to, oh, that component works like that, maybe I can use it this way, that way, and another way, and whichever way you want, and that way you have a nice little understanding of how the components work, and from there you can make up your own ideas, and perhaps maybe your own contraptions that'll help for your particular build in survival, or even creative if you're too lazy about the survival aspect of Minecraft. So, what we're going to do today is I'm going to build a couple of contraptions and then I'll show you how they all work. So I've got out some necessary components for our first and most lovable contraption, the 2x2 two two piston door. Hopefully I've got this all done correctly in the spacing. Yeah. Right. Now essentially these are sticky pistons. What they do is they push blocks, but unlike regular pistons, sticky pistons can also retract or pull back blocks, and that makes for a very useful, unique system. So, but we're going to start with the basic beginning. Redstone dust. Everybody has mined it for the experience, but they don't know what to do with it. Redstone's like wires, and they all connect up nicely, and it's, it's great. So think of it as electricity, or your Wi-Fi signal. This is your signal here. This line, this entire line, is the power. What makes the energy flow into your components to make them work. You, you, you're not going to get a light bulb to turn on without the, the signal, the electricity. That's the basic of this redstone dust, as we call it. But now here, in its off state, let me just get some lighting in first. We want to... No. There. You, you, you can't turn on the light without there being electricity. And there let me be light. So you're in your house, there's the switch on the wall, and the wiring goes up to the light and turns the light on. Sounds simple. If there isn't if the wiring's not connected, it's not going to turn it on. Simply on and off, on, off, on, off, on, and off. Okay, wait, we, we do want a bit of lighting here. So I'm going to use the glowstone. Yeah. I'm just going to light up this place because I don't want to type in commands and blah, 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 whatever. Right. So we know redstone wire. Or redstone dust in this case. Now, the next component is the redstone torch. Like your switches and your buttons, they are a source of energy, a source of power. Except there are differences. So your redstone torch is going to be permanently on. So it'll permanently stay on. It's never going to go off. Ever. It stays on forever. Your second source of input, like your, your source of energy, I should put in this way, your buttons. And just like pressing a button, it emits that energy, that source of signal, for a very short period, and then turns back off. So that button is going to be your second little source of energy, as you can see here now. I'm, I'm hoping I have explained this as thoroughly as possible 
to you guys, and it really is quite simple to understand. Just go through it ahead a couple of times, pause, go back in the video, and just get it in your head. So remember that your torch is going to stay on forever. It's going to power it forever up until you break that or break the the, the wiring. Your button emits that pulse, that source of energy for a brief moment, one, about one and a half seconds at rough, and then it'll turn it back off again. And then you have your switch or your levers, which at your discretion, you can turn on, leave it on, and then come back later and then just turn it off when necessary or whenever you need it. And that makes it nice. So it, it, it kind of makes you starting to get ideas. But don't jump ahead. I know we're getting ideas now. Ooh, ooh, we can make all sorts of little fancy things with this. Keep in mind, we still got a bit of ways to go. So I'm going to explain all of these contraptions in a minute. Now, the one thing is the source of energy is it doesn't go on forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, uh. La. Okay, so the source of energy doesn't go on forever. It has a strength, a signal strength. That's why I said think of it like your Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi has a strength over a certain distance. The farther away you get, the weaker the signal is going to be. Exact same thing with redstone dust. So we've got here at the power, at the power source. You can see this is this is quite bright. And but as you go along down the line. You can see that it just gets duller and duller and the signal gets weaker up until this redstone here which is the 16th block it goes up to 15 blocks so if we want to put a piston there that'll help however see that's still powered this is now off and it's not going to power this because that is the 16th block our next little contraption is the repeater and what this does is it repeats the signal that's coming in from there. So we've got all the way up till the 15th block, and we can extend our line of energy. See there, it's bright again. That's a bit of dull. That's the last block. There, it's bright again. And we can extend this as far as we want, so long as we have enough repeaters. That's the first thing about repeaters. But another little thing. That's quite excellent that I find is repeaters also act as a delay so if you want to time something per se let's set these four 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 and four now watch how the signal reacts to it See how they took a little bit slower to get to the pistons at the end. And now it turns off, just like that. And you can toggle the amount of repeaters you have in a line to set the amount of delay that you're going to get out of your repeaters. So this will be a bit of an easier demonstration. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bam. So you can set up X amount of repeaters for, and you could just play around with it. Say you don't want the lights to come on immediately after you've opened the door. You want to give it, you know, let's say three seconds, and you'll use however many repeaters it takes to create that amount of delays so that after three seconds the lights will come on and after you leave the lights will turn off three second delay and it's amazing what you can do with it it really helps in a lot of ideas later when you need to create that delay so that's a redstone repeater that's excellent and i do absolutely love these things because they make for some awesome awesome little fixes to our problem that'll be created later on. So that's repeaters. 
blocks of redstone, exact same as your redstone torch. And they can emit signal outwards in four different ways. Five, actually, if you really consider the top. But redstone never, can never be powering anything below it. You can't make redstone go down. You can make it like this, go up, but you cannot make it go down properly in certain ways. You can make it go down like that, but you can't make it go down directly below the blocks. Like, there will be a block, a piece of redstone, a block, a piece of redstone, and you keep going. It doesn't work like that. You've got to spiral it down like that. Okay, I don't want to break through bedrock here and fall into the bloody void. So that was just a little interesting tidbit about that. Like I said, block of redstone, exact same thing as your redstone torch. It's a power source. So all four directions and of course above it as well. It'll power anything that's above. See, it'll power the block above it. So that's on. Same thing with the torch. That's on. I'm going to have to love and leave you guys at that. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It's always free. I do so enjoy making these videos. There will be also a link in the description for some of those of you that would love to help me grow my channel. And I will see you all later.